Today is the 24th of September, which means it's river fire night. Tonight the bloody, the city comes alive and they put the fireworks on top of all the buildings and they get the jets to fly over and they do some cool shit. It is currently 11.30 a.m. in the morning, Saturday morning, and we've been working for near on five hours now. This, by the way, is new software that we're using. It's called Time Doctor. For a long time, I was using one called Rescue Time. It was a similar thing. I like Time Doctor just slightly more. Hey, babe, what's going on? If you want a quick hack to increase your time productivity of how much actually you get done in a day, start measuring your time. Get an app that you turn on and automatically measure what you're actually doing in the day. It's really enlightening. The little things that you think that you're not really spending that much time doing, they really add up over the day, that's for sure. Are you ready to play? I'm ready to play. What do you think of what I'm wearing? Do you think this is appropriate? Yes, it is. Interesting. The pink and the... I don't know about it, eh? <laughs> I was going to change my pants, but I don't have any other ones that are clean right now that are suitable for tennis playing. I got the keys. No, I don't have the keys. Where are the keys? Dad always comes out and challenges always um, arrive. And it always takes a bit longer than originally thought. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Well. This is vlog second like this. <laughs> but right now, looks like with our matching pink. Oh my god, babe. Seriously, like, can I get away with wearing this? I look like... I look like a homosexual. Not you that that's a... Gorgeous. I'm not a... I'm not homophobic, but I look like a homosexual. You look like a dad with your socks above your ankles. Is that... Doesn't... Isn't that how tennis players wear socks, though? Like, the yeah, high socks? I don't know. Yeah, I'm keen. If you are, we should explain. We we had all these boxes yeah. in the back of the Jeep. Well, we had them in the garage, but we had them in the back of the Jeep for ages. And we had to come take them back here. They do a buyback thing when we had to move house. We got all these boxes, and then they like buy them back off us. We got like 20 bucks back for boxes that we were going to throw out. That's what I call a good deal. Are you ready to go play tennis? Yeah. Oh, we gotta go to Coles now. We gotta go grocery. What are we gonna get there? We gotta go to Brumbies. YouTube. What's your thoughts on the, what's your thoughts on speed cameras? Sort of the, you know, the ones in the, what the, they park the bloody car on the side of the road and they get the camera in the back and the cop sits there all day. On the way here, literally two minutes ago, we drove past like an unmarked standard run of the mill ute on the side of the road. It looks like a tradesman's work ute. And when we got close, we looked in the back, full camera set up. They were booking people. They were finding, taking photos of people speeding and then they're going to send them bills in an unmarked car. What are your thoughts on that? In my experience, there's usually two schools of thought. There's the, well, you shouldn't be speeding anyway, and they can be unmarked, and they can hide in bushes and wheelie bins. It shouldn't matter. Or there's the, that's bullshit, and they're just, it's just pure blatant trickery to try and make more money for the government. Where are your thoughts on the matter? Put a comment in the comment section. Let me know your opinion. Very interesting conversation. For the record, my personal view. When they start saying shit, and they make the ad saying, the speed kills, I get that. Speeding is not... Speeding on the road irresponsibly is stupid. I, I've only lost two points. I've had my license, what now, 10, 10 years this year. And I've lost two points and it was for not indicating. I'm on board with the no speeding. Don't speed on the road and don't be an idiot in the car. What I have an issue with personally is when they start setting up speed cameras and then sort of saying, oh, well, we're just trying to protect you or save lives and stuff. So we're finding people. That's bullshit. But to get a car into Australia or to America or wherever you live, they have to, your car has to meet certain standards. Even to get the Jeep from, a, from an American build into an Australian standard, they have to meet seat belt requirements, tires, brakes, all this shit has to be good enough for Australian standard they could very easily just make every car come with a GPS speed limit. as like a $60, $80 piece of technology, make them in Japan, put them in the car, and make it so that you're speed limited, so you can't break this. If they were really that concerned with people speeding, they would make, they would make it a uh, standard that every car had to have a built-in speed limiter. That's my feeling. The fact that they don't do that, but then set up like trickery, camera, speed traps on the road, to make more money, that's to me is crazy because that's not really saving people's lives and stopping speeding, that's just making the money. Let me know what your opinion on the matter is. You ready? Yeah. Tennis time? 
Terrible, terrible, horrible, devastating news. <laughs> we went to the shop to get the stuff and then we drove past. There seems to be a competition on it, the tennis court. Every single court is full and there's about 600. So, no tennis, unfortunately. But, in lieu of tennis, I've been working on my coaching program for my session tomorrow with a student of mine in America. It's a good session tomorrow. It's gonna to be a sweet session. It's an easy case, this one. This particular student of mine is already making $20,000, $30,000 a month the only issue is that he's stuck in the, he's trapped in the business, and this is a common thing. Easy to get out of. Usually it's just a mindset block. It's a, it's a mindset block, it's a control block, or it's some particular thing that's holding them in there, or a certain layer of subtle fear that says, if I get out of the business, it, that's my financial security right now, it's my sense of significance, that's my sense of importance, that's all this and that. It's an easy one to get over. Okay, attack plan. Sun just went down. Sunset's looking good. We have Raquel over, we're getting some friends over, Julian and Sarah coming. Maybe one of the neighbors is coming up for the night. We saw him caught up in the, in the basement. We are just having a few drinks, getting ready. Robin's on, the, Robin's on the wines. <laughs> this is a very rare state of Cheers, affairs, man. this. Very <laughs> rare. We've got things to celebrate. Hey, by the way, I've edited this vlog and it's <laughs> shit. <laughs> so I'm gonna bail on it. It's fucking useless, this one. Tell you what. Hello! Oh, you're oh, it's a double, it's a double camera. It's a, this is the second time Oh, he stacked it. Oh, oh the, bo the boat hasn't turned around. The boat's still going. <laughs> the boat's still going and he's in the drink. Oh, there. <laughs> he's seen, he has seen. Oh my God.